Turning now to the continued struggle for millions of Americans trying to travel across the country. Bad weather and COVID are making it difficult for people to get home after the holidays. ABC's Elwin Lopez is in Atlanta where folks are dealing with that chaos. Tonight, one of the busiest travel weekends of the year, wrapping up with another day of mass cancellations. It's a long line, but what are you going to do? From coast to coast, 5 million passengers expected to hit the skies between today and tomorrow. I just want to get home. Airports seeing more than 2,500 flights grounded, over 5,000 just this weekend. COVID partially to blame with an uptick in cases sparking staffing shortages. Another major hit to operations, that wintry weather from Denver to Chicago. We had a huge snowstorm and oh my goodness, they canceled the flight because they were scared that we wouldn't be able to like take off and such. Megan Dillman managed to book another flight to Atlanta for an event, but is now worried about getting back home to Chicago. Well, I'm hoping that it doesn't get canceled because I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Stephen Cheney tells me he has spent more than seven hours at the airport. I showed you all of my cancellations I've been dealing with all morning long trying to get there. He says he is I, I, desperately I trying to get to Portland, Oregon to bury his firstborn son. I haven't been asleep at all since I got the news, but I'm going to get there some way, somehow. I don't know, but I'm trusting and believing you know, that I will. Please maintain control of your yeah. bags at all. I just got to keep it together. That's all. Uh, Cancellations are already piling up across the country for tomorrow with more than 800 flights grounded so far. Elwin Lopez, ABC News, Atlanta.